all our journeys are very different. But I think that if people could actually understand that it doesn't really matter what life throws at you, life is hard. So it doesn't really matter what life throws at you. If it throws pain at you, it is hard, life is hard. Don't, don't pretend, everybody knows it's hard and everybody has their moments. But the power to overcome that is in your head. And if you can actually get that right, then you definitely are going to feel much better about who you are and what you're suffering. Because you're going to take it on as a positive rather than a negative. Being in denial about about these things isn't good. You know, you've got to you've got to accept. You know, you're in pain a lot. You need help, and um, and you've got to go get that help. So I guess what we found from um, just anecdotal clinical experience and then all the research that people do on pain um, is that it doesn't really work to just come at it from one angle with one type of health professional. Um, but often with these more complex persistent pain conditions we really need to come at it from multiple angles with a team of professionals. So when I do see somebody in pain Often they're coming to me thinking that there'll be a single solution or like a, you know, a sort of, might be a magic fix, might just be something that's going to, in its own right, you know, be a bit of a key to help their pain. And usually fairly early, early in the discussion, I start discussing how pain management or how to improve um, pain is actually more like a jigsaw puzzle. And pretty much for most people I see, we come out with six pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. Other people it might be eight, nine or ten pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. But the most important parts of the jigsaw puzzle are things, pacing activity, relaxation, meditation, a daily walk, stretches, and maybe you know one or two more specific things that that individual person might find useful. It might be Tai Chi or yoga or water aerobics. And then medications might be one part of that jigsaw puzzle, and other people might might be procedures if it's appropriate. But it's very much like in my head that idea of a jigsaw puzzle. Um, and so I found in my experience as a, a clinical psychologist that the people who do best are those that are being um, helped or um, supported by a team of health professionals who work together. So it's really important not just that you have your surgeon or your pain specialist or your GP physiotherapist or psychologist but that they also talk to each other and um, more importantly that they're on the same page that they're giving uh, you the same message that there's a consistent message uh, about how to manage your pain and how to move forwards and that we all understand I guess our role that we've each got a, a separate but kind of complementary role in the management. It took me quite a long time to actually get a team together. It's it's not it's not something that um, that you find straight away. Like over the years, I've gone to many different doctors and tried many different things. If people work together as a team, it's much easier. So where I had a, a GP, and I'm very fortunate in having a, an unbelievably good GP who's actually an orthopaedic surgeon as well. So for me, that's very, very good because he understands bones and joints. And um, he was then able to put me in, in touch with a fantastic rheumatologist who is you know, on cutting edge technology and, and, and medication for rheumatoid problems. Um, and it was a very good connection because obviously my GP knew that person as well. Um, and then together they were able to put me onto my, my pain specialist who plays a huge role in my, in my part. And, and you know, when I forget to um, utilise parts of the team, the other part of the team will remind me. So I'll go to the rheumatologist and say like, oh, I've got this problem. And they'll say, well, you need to actually see your pain specialist about that, which is great. So they all need to react. Um, but I also bring into that team my, um, my pharmacist as well because that's a very useful resource. It's very important for me to have a good health team and anyone else to have that. Um, I've 
been very fortunate with the people that I've come into contact with and obviously over time those needs with that particular medical profession might not be required from you anymore or it might not be working so then you need to seek another avenue and find out what works for you and then gradually as time goes on you will learn through each of the different experiences with people to put the puzzle together that works for you because what works for for me might not work for you or or anyone else you've just got to and you've got to know your body people commonly think of team as say the other health professionals but the most significant thing which is really key is that the person in pain is integral in that team and so I see my role more as like a bit of a coach or a person who can help put people in contact with people who can teach them different things but after a short period of time or a few you know discussions would be appointments or within a group session the person in pain really becomes the team leader and I become more of a support person as do all the other people. You end up starting to Google stuff as well and you, you learn on top of what they're already telling you. So the stuff that they tell you, you can kind of relate to what you've sort of read on the internet, although probably not the best idea to self-diagnose or whatever. But like you, you learn a little bit about how muscles work and that sort of jazz and then learning a little bit about your own body and then working it from there. I guess knowledge is, is freedom. So if you can understand your situation or anything that you're going through, it's going to be a lot easier to manage it.